on. McDonald shoves! You're good. Very good. And he flops quads. <laughs> There's a yeah. seven! Woo. In the 2014 PCA main event, it did come down to two of the best, Mike McDonald and Dominic Panker. Now, this is something I do remember because it was the longest final table of all time. Luckily for you, we're just going to show you the best bit, so it shouldn't take any time at all. Oh, and if you like this stuff, subscribe because it takes even less time. Queen 10 off suit. He raises the button, makes it 250,000, gets a fold from Baron. It's Mike's big blind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody said we were going to have to play against Mike McDonald. Mike calls. I even like Dominic's direct-to-video sunglasses. The flop, six, five, deuce with two clubs. Well, we whiffed, but sometimes that's the best time to continue. Mike checks. Dominic is gonna continue for 280,000. And Mike would defend his big blind pretty wide, so he'd have to call with any piece of this. There's the call. Nearly 1.2 million in the middle. Seven of diamonds on the turn. I was hoping the board would come something scary we could make a bluff at or, you know, just hit one of our pairs. Check, check. Queen of diamonds on the river. Top pair for Panka. Cool. Mike checks for a third time. I think we have to value bet. Could easily get called by a worse pair. Or am I sabotaging us because I kind of want Mike to be the first two-time champion? JK, I still think we should bet. Panker counting out a bet. The grade ship's worth 100,000 each. That is 785k total. That is a pretty meaty bet. And this is going to be a Mo Better Meaty Meat raise. Wow. Mike check raises to two and a half million. You're good. Very good. I was going to say we should say that. Why did you raise it so much? All we can really beat is Mike turning a pair into a bluff or a missed flush draw. Panker folds. Oh. Mike had deuces. He flopped a set. Did you have it, Mike? I'm sorry, Dom. I don't remember. It's Mike's button. He's first to speak. 10-7. And he raises, makes it 325,000. Standard raising hand for heads up on the button. 8-9 suited for Dominic. Call here would be standard as well. There's the call. call. This is what happens, heads up. Ranges are blown wide open like somebody left the gas on too long and then lit the pilot light. A 10-9-5 flop. Second pair for Panker, top pair for McDonald. Action's been checked to him. Pank is checking to the razor, but I would imagine he's not folding to one bet. Well, Mike's C bet is 350,000. You can certainly understand him calling here. Well, those aren't calling chips. Pank could check raises to a million. Less understandable. This check raise is mostly only going to fold out worse hands. Probably okay if he knows Mike has a draw, but even then, it's probably better just to call. Mike calls the raise, and we go to the turn, which is the six of diamonds. Both players now with straight draws. Mike's still ahead, an 89% favorite. Once Dominic raises the flop, he probably feels as if he needs to continue here. Kind of like when you tell your partner a lie, and then you get called on it, but you got to stick with it. That's a bet of 1.4 million. And like most suspicious partners, Mike is not falling for it. McDonald calls. Five and a half million in the pot. The river is an eight. That gives Mike a straight. It gives Panka two pair. That card hits Panka, but in his mind, it could have hit Mike even harder. Panka checks. Mike should be value betting this. He checks behind. Interesting check back. Maybe just wants to see Panka's hand catch him, make him admit the truth. And that will bring about a change in the chip lead. Mike McDonald now has the lead with 16.4 million. Mike has picked up pocket eights on the button. He raises to 400K. 
10-7 offsuit for Panker in the big blind. Again, this would be a very common hand to call and defend the big blind with. Panker, not a fan of this calling business. He raises. It's a three bet to 1.2 million. Ambitious three bet. Don't think it's going to get a fold. If they were shorter, Mike might shove, but they're still deeper than a Lars von Trier film. Mike calls. He doesn't have the betting lead, but he has the best hand and he's in position. And he flops quads. <laughs> Dominic Panka about to fire dead like a zombie Alan Sugar. Oh, that is an image I need to remove from my brain. Did you say brains? Panka continues for 900,000. I'd say this is a dream spot for Mike McDonald, but most of us don't even have dreams this good. I'm banking on a smooth call from a smooth operator. Sure enough, just a call. Better part of 4.3 million in the pot. Four of diamonds on the turn gives Panker a no good flush draw. He now slows down, he checks. Maybe Pank is giving up. I don't mind it in general and I love it here. With this board texture and Mike calling the flop, he's gonna be pretty strong most of the time. Mike bets 1.8 million. And gets a fault. Show the quads. Come on, show it. It's good for the game. It's good for the game. All right, fine, don't. And the Polish qualifier looks down at pocket nines. Should point out that Mike also won his seat online. In fact, he was the first player to qualify for this year's PCA main event. King Jack in the big blind, facing a raise to 400,000. Mike responds with a three bet. Dicey three bet with stack sizes. If Mike gets shoved on, he's rarely in good shape. Oh. He does get shoved on. Maybe he was three betting to induce a light shove. Call. Mike calls. It's a race. And if Mike wins this flip, he'll win the PCA main event and become the first player with two EPT titles. Good luck. Good luck. King Jack runs down nines. It is over. Get it. Nines holding on the flop. Cringy flop for King Jack. Put a nine there for a sweat. Hank of the big favorite now. Okay. That would <laughs> finally be true. We know Panka runs real good in races. He flips like a Romanian gymnast. Mike McDonald has six outs. King for the sweat. <laughs> if it's a king or a jack on the river, McDonald has done the double. It's a deuce. Panka doubles up and takes the chip lead. Right now, Dominic Panka has a big chip lead over Mike McDonald. He's first to speak. He has ace deuce. Pretty good hand heads up. Here comes the raise. raise it. Half minutes. a million. Mike has seven four suited. Definitely a hand he can call with, even though he's short. He can most certainly see a flop with this hand if he likes. All in. McDonald shoves! Or he can see all five cards, maybe. Um, can't please, but... I think this would actually be a loose call. Given what Mike's shoving range should be, his range is mostly better aces and pairs. Ace two's not doing well against those hands. Uh, call. Call. Panka calls! Sorry, I didn't mean to... Pardon me? Didn't mean to slow No, down. no, that's perfectly fine. This could be it. It's pretty much a flip. And if Panka wins, he is the 2014 PCA champion. Come on, you better be a lucky dealer. Technically, it'll be lucky for someone. Jack five deuce. Panka now a three to one favorite. Big whip for Mikey. Lump in throat time. McDonald looking for a seven or a four. There's a yeah. seven! Well played. <laughs> play on, players. Mike set for a double up unless the river card is an ace or a deuce. It's an ace! Dominic Panker is the first ever Polish winner on the tour. Congrats, Dominic, but I am just gutted for Mike McDonald.
and Panka now number one on Poland's all-time money list. Really sick start to this kid's career. Handled himself like he's been there dozens of times before.